take a look at is that you're here on the phone screen. You can adjust this to be Android and you can also look at uh, different devices. So pick whichever is relevant to you. I'm going to stick with Apple and the phone. The other thing you want to point out is that over here we have all of the data, the sheet data. So we have all of our, our sheet data from our Google Sheet doc here. And then finally, this last section is where we'll customize everything in terms of layout and name, all of those different things. So let's walk through how to customize our app. So we can see we have a list that is what came in as the default. But over here under style, we have a lot of other options. Let's come back over and click on list and take a look at what we can change here. So first things first, we want to take a look at the data that's displaying. Maybe we don't want to have the location. Uh, that's okay. You don't need that location on there. You can take that off if you would, don't want it on there. And now we just have the names. So as you can see, you can change a lot of different things. You could see different captions. And then of course, if I had an image, <laughs> we could put that on there, but I don't have an image for this particular demonstration. You can also pick the size, meaning how many items you like to appear. You can allow for text wrapping or not. And down here you have some nice options so that you can see more. And you can also limit the number of items that you want to see. So for now, let's just do see more because we're going to add in a little bit of additional information. We're going to click over here on options and we want to be able to group things because I know I have more than one type of thing in here. So we're going to group based on category and automatically you can see it has created this nice setup for me. We also want to be able to filter by category and you can also add a sort if you would like, but this is good for me. We do want the search bar up there, so this looks okay. Now, if we click further over, we can see that we can click add form. This will allow our users to add items. This is great if you are wanting to add to your list. If you're curating the data yourself, perhaps it's not something that you want, but depending on what it is that your app is doing, just keep in mind whether or not you want to add in or enable the add form button. I do want that for this case since it would be shared locally. Now that we have our list set up how we want it here on this main screen, let's take care of what it says up top here before we move on to the details. So we're going to come back over and click under tabs and click sheet. Here we can rename what this sheet says and it does show you where it's coming from. So the source is sheet one. That's the name in the Google uh, sheet that we have linked to. So now we can call this gluten-free finds. Perfect. You can change this icon if you would like and you will see that for food, it is a pro subscription that requires the food. So just keep that in mind as you're building out your apps. I've gone ahead and changed that tab just to the home icon because this is the main screen. This is a pretty simple app, so we don't really need a lot of uh, icon use here. But again, depending on what it is that you're building, you'll want to pay attention to the icons that you're using so it's easier for the users to navigate it. On this main screen, you'll also see over here on the left hand side that we have search and our favorite bar is hidden. We do want our users to be able to mark favorites, so we'll go ahead and unhide that. And then also uh, we have the list set up. So now this is looking a bit more like an app. Let's take a look at what happens when we click on the details. Mm -hmm. 